All right, everyone. Welcome to week number four of our ab circuit. This week, we're doing three rounds. We're gonna go 30 seconds of a side plank back to back. Okay, so we're gonna start on our left arm and hold here for 30 seconds. If you need to bend on the bottom knee, you can do that. 30 seconds, right afterwards, there's no rest. I'm just gonna flip and go right into the other side for 30 seconds. After we get done with both sides, we'll get a 15 second rest. Then we're gonna do 30 seconds of reverse crunches. For the reverse crunch, stay crunched up, hands go behind the ears or under the lower back for more support if you need it, if your lower back hurts. But keep your lower back on the ground, extend the legs straight out, roll the hips up. Extend them out, roll the hips up. And we're gonna work there for 30 seconds. And then a 15 second rest, we're back to the start. Three rounds, all right, here we go. Starting in 10, here we go, first side plank. Left side for me. Three, two, one, go. And we're holding, stabilizing through the shoulders. Don't be twisted forward. Keep that top shoulder stacked. You can go arm up to help you keep good position. Keep that hip up, don't let it drag down. Don't let them twist forward. 10 seconds here. And again, we're gonna go right into the other side. In four, three, two, one, switch sides and go right into it. Stabilize, keep yourself up. We're almost there, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest 15. So now we're gonna go to reverse crunches. Make them good, keep your lower back on the ground, extend out, keep those core, the core tight, and then bring them back in and roll the hips up. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. So extend out, roll the hips up. Stay in a crunched up position here. We got 10 seconds here. Two, one, rest 15. That's one round. Let's go back to the start, back to our first side plank. We got two more rounds of this. Here we go, first round, or first side in five, three, two, one, up and go. Good form. If you need to bend those knees, it's okay. You can try just bending the bottom one and putting them on the ground, or if you need to, bend both and put them on the ground. But keep your hip up off the ground so you still work the core and the obliques. Five, three, two, one, switch right into it. Go, other side. Doing good. Keep holding, we got 10 seconds. And then we'll get a rest before reverse crunch. Three, two, one, rest 15. So we're gonna go to those reverse crunches again. Keep that lower back on the ground, extend out, and come back up. Here we go, five, three, two, one, go. Almost there. Five seconds. Two. One, rest 15. Two rounds down, we're gonna go one more round. Go back to that side plank. Here we go, five, 
Three, two, one, go. Come on. We're almost there. Five seconds, then we're switching sides. Two, one, and switch and go. Last round. Keep holding, 15 seconds left. Keep that hip up. Eight seconds. Two, one, rest 15. All right, we got 30 seconds left of reverse crunches, and then we're done. Let's make them count, make them good quality. Here we go. Five, three, two, one, go. Almost there. Two, one, and done. Woo! Nice work, everyone. Let's get some stretching out today. Uh, if you just showed up for core, eh, you can still get some stretching anyways. If you did the full workout, we're gonna go pigeons today. Drop the, cross the leg, drop the knee, hold that for 60 seconds on each side. Then I wanna go hamstrings, so straighten that front leg, and then bend straight down towards it, and feel the stretch in the back of the leg, the hamstring there, hold that for 60 seconds each side. And then finally, we're going hip flexors. Knee down, knee forward, drive those hips forward, feel a stretch in the back hip flexor there. 60 seconds on each side. All right, great job showing up, getting this workout done, whether you did the full workout or just the core, great job. I will see you for your next workout.